Rat Chick just shared this, and I thought this was some great material to let you all know. This is very new information. This document has just been unclassified as of 129 2016 You remember when Obama told the American public that they do not anticipate any radiation to reach our shores? As it appears, Hillary was telling everyone else a different story on her unsecured email server. Radiation leak from Fukushima reactor. Staff and people should be staying indoors if at all possible. This stuff travels very, very far. There is nothing, no events, no parties, no sports, movies, act that are worth any exposure to radiation. Wear a mask and a hat if possible. Take a shower immediately after you return home and wash your clothes. Radioactive steam was released yesterday and continues today. It will likely be in the area now. I won't be going outdoors for a while. I also came across some more information about Hillary Clinton. Thanks to M. Lord and God, you can find her on YouTube. And she was posting videos about how sick Hillary's been looking regarding her thyroid. And I think that her doctor just released that information that she is on thyroid medication. So it's quite possible that she got blasted from this radiation. So Hillary was telling the people that she's not going to go outside for a while and to wear a mask. So this gets even deeper and you put together that Obama took his family and most of his staff down to Brazil for a couple weeks as well. Just going to go over the document itself, unclassified from the U.S. Department. And there's still about 64 documents related to Hillary's unsecured email server that are not being released. This gives you a little glimmer into the mind of the Clinton Obama administration. Radiation leak from Fukushima reactor and then we have some areas of this document have been taken out. Stay indoors if at all possible. There is nothing, no events, parties, sports or movies that are worth getting more exposure to radiation. This stuff aka radiation travels far very far. Wind is all over the place. We must assume it is heading towards a major area like Tokyo, a city, a heat source. As long as the radiation leak is going and up to 24 to 40 hours later, the threat is at its highest in most cases. Here is a wind chart online. It shows wind all over the place but one trend is there. Winds heads to Tokyo. There was also reports this week now, of course, the Fukushima Prefecture could have been downplaying their results from water tests, but the Tokyo water tests were higher than some parts of Fukushima, which is terrible, considering the population of Tokyo. So expect blackouts and brownouts. Get your flashlights ready with new batteries. Very similar to a Three Mile Island and maybe Chernobyl, VOA News has this take. Leak has been doing since last night. It is still not under control. A U.S. team was flown in to help get this thing under control, but that is not a public record yet. It will come out later, I think. Anyway, leak from last night means it's hitting us about now. I am not going outdoors for a while. Normally, one might also take KI, potassium iodine tablets, as a precautionary measure. Substitutes include alternative sources of iodine, including isogen or consuming seaweed, nori. Wear a mask and hat if possible. Take a shower immediately after you return home and wash your clothes. Radioactive steam was released yesterday and continues today. It will likely be in the area now. What I su suggest above is not costly and not too erroneous. Do it and play it safe. Don't go outdoors unless it's necessary. This document has just been unclassified from the U.S. Department as of 129. Just a few days old. What else are they hiding? Hillary, as you can see, she's been pushing for, she was actually threatening Czechoslovakia to take reactors from Westinghouse. And it's just madness when you see that she's ducking for cover and telling people to, to not go outside under any circumstances. And then she's pushing for more nuclear technology across the world. Very sickening indeed.